To begin this afternoon, we go to Ecuador. That's where thousands of demonstrators filled Independ Independence Square in downtown Quito on Thursday night to celebrate the gains of the Citizens' Revolution and to defend the government of President Rafael Correa. The demonstrations came in the face of an alleged coup d'etat plot being planned by the country's conservative opposition. Government supporters emphasized the material gains that have been made under the government of Rafael Correa, including major reductions in poverty and steady economic growth. President Correa emphasized that all factions are free to protest, but such protests must take, must take place de democratically and in line with the Constitution. Nobody here is opposed to protest. This is a democracy. Everyone has the right to peacefully protest, as is stated in the Constitution. And regardless of what the business-dominated and corrupt media say, it is obvious that the opposition protests are violent. How many of our colleagues have already been injured by them? And as highlighted by President Correa, opposition protesters resorted to violence on Thursday night during the marches aimed at interrupting the celebrations taking place in Independence Square. Members of Ecuador's conservative movement attempted to break through police lines, as we're seeing there, in order to confront the government supporters. The effort did not succeed. Security forces there held their ground. 